It's been 32 years since Voyager finished its journey. We thought we had left the Delta Quadrant behind us. We were wrong. The gateways to the Quadrant are open. And the choices we made have long-lasting effects. Now, we will help the friends we left behind. And fight the rising darkness. Voyager's first trip through the Delta Quadrant was a solitary one. We must return to set things right. This time, we must unite to survive. Yes, folks, you read that title and saw the thumbnail correctly, hence the cool trailer from way back when I put it at the front, Delta Recruitment is coming back. So, let's talk about that. All right, so as, as I said before the little intro there, the Delta Recruitment is coming back. The Delta Recruitment needs you, is the title here. This is all the information we have so far. This dropped at 11 o'clock this morning, my time. It's been a very long day. I'm surprised I've managed to record this before dinner time. Eh, anyways, it's been... Interesting day, an interesting week in the Star Trek world. Um, if you missed it, this is not necessarily Stowe related, but just if you missed it as a Star Trek fan, which if you're playing Stowe, I'm assuming the majority of you are, um, there was several rounds of big news released yesterday for First Contact Day, so if you want some interesting Trek news, please go look that up. That was fun. But... Um, here we have the big stone news of the week, or what I presume will be the big stone news of the week. Delta Recruitment returns. So I'm just going to go ahead and read the article here and then put some of my thoughts in it. This video won't be very long, just getting some um, basic details out there for the people. So Delta Recruitment returns. The special Delta Recruitment event is coming back, starting April the 15th on PC and May the 13th on consoles. You can create a new Delta Recruit character. Any newly made 2409 Starfleet character, KDF character, or Romulan character is eligible to be become a recruit for the 28 days that this event will run. Delta Recruits gain a set of special goals in order to prepare for the Iconium War. Using a Tesseract transceiver from the future, you'll chase down information about the Iconians and complete other tests to make sure your faction's ready to handle the Iconian threat. Along the way, you'll earn great rewards and gain special account unlocks so that your other characters are rewarded too. In addition, we've updated the Delta Recruit task to remove out-of-date missions and introduce new goals with new rewards. Missions that are no longer in the episode journal will no longer have Delta Recruit tasks in them, but we've added new tasks to the new Romulus, Dyson Sphere, and Delta Quadrant story arcs. You'll also gain rewards from completing those mission groups. Tasks that previously gave you marks have been updated so that you can claim all the new kinds of reputation marks that we've added since the first launch of Delta Recruitment. There is now a reward for reaching level 60, which gives you even more marks and reputation to lithium, as well as salvage, so that you can earn more rep gear and re-engineer your equipment for the end game. We have added new rewards for completing your faction's Admiralty campaign, including a very special Admiralty card and Personally, I find this really cool just from a lore standpoint. The USS Voyager. Existing Delta recruits. Now, this is a big key, and this is awesome. Because I know several people who've been in the game long enough to have these. Existing Delta recruits, if you have them left on your account, will be able to complete these new goals. And if you have already finished goals on said tune ahead of time, 
you can claim the rewards immediately. So if I know one guy who has a Delta Recruit as his main character. His Delta Recruit will more than likely be done instantly just for the amount of hours he's put in on that character. That is awesome. So, remember to become a Delta Recruit and gain access to the rewards. You must create a new 2409 Starfleet character, KDF character, or Romulan character during the event. And listen to this very carefully if you didn't play a KDF Recruit tune. But, you must complete the tutorial until you receive your special Delta Recruit transceiver device. All you have to do during the recruitment event, if you don't want to grind it straight off if you're still finishing your Klingon Recruit, get the transceiver, finish the tutorial before the event's out. That's all you have to do. Once you receive the device, your character is a Delta Recruit, and you can complete the goals any time and claim the rewards even after the event ends. The, re the recruitment will return from, again, April 15th to May 13th on PC, and May 13th to June 10th on consoles. So, just make sure, and, and I'm just saying, Delta Recruitment has some good rewards, which I'll probably go over... I won't go them over, over them ahead of time, even though I could, because they've redone how it works. But when the recruitment event launches in, let's see, today's the 6th, a week from Thursday. When it launches next Thursday, I'll likely do a video then going over all the rewards and stuff. And honestly, considering we have people who probably have a KDF recruit sitting and now we're going to have a Delta recruit sitting, I'll probably do a video on how how easiest how, basically the easiest way to complete a recruitment event other than just playing that character so to break it down a little more into my thoughts um number one i don't think this is going to be the only post on this because there was, when we had KDF Recruit over the winter, we had this style of post as the announcement, and then a couple days after this post, I'm guessing the information will come out likely Thursday. Tuesday, Thursday is generally their news days. Um, after the patch Thursday, there will likely be another announcement, if I had to guess, going over more details of exactly the specific changes to each round of recruit stuff if th that that's my guess if there's not another announcement on that front my guess beyond that as to why that would be is because well just to show I'm going to go straight to the wiki here and here we go you can find information on the delta recruitment and get information on rewards and milestones and all that stuff. So you, if you want to get a sneak peek at most of what you will get, here's where to find it. Because um, a lot of this stuff will, in fact, be in this recruitment event. They're just making a few changes to it. So this is not all entirely 100% accurate. However, it will be the same path and concept. So, anyways, back to my thoughts on this. Um, it's good. I, I like it. I am very happy to finally be able to get the temporal... Um, the Temporal Negotiator, which reduces boff cooldowns by 50%. That's amazing if you need an ability up in a pickle, in a pinch, and your cooldown reduction isn't quite doing what you need it to. Um, something I am curious about, which if they do put out another blog on this, will likely be covered. During the Klingon Recruit, everybody automatically got a free character slot. Now... Character slots aren't exactly expensive, but I know some people might not have a free character slot or even the resources to spend the 
whatever it is, 200 Zen to get just one extra, two extra, whatever it is. I've, I've forgotten it might be 400 Zen. It's not that much. Um, but uh, to those out there who don't have a character slot, but a character slot is can be made available... I would highly recommend that you take whichever character that you just are done with, for the most part. As much as I hate to even consider this, but whichever one you're done with, or if you have one you wanted to get around to and just never leveled up, that you could potentially recreate, especially if you could recreate them as the recruit, Delete that tune for a character slot and make a recruit because, I mean, honestly, but t <laughs> this is gonna sound uh, like I I've completely, I haven't even done the math on this, but going off, if you have, once you have both of the recruits from the past six months complete, you will have enough account unlock marks on each tune to pretty much level up a reputation of your choice. Once a temporal recruitment events rerun, it will get even crazier, because temporal and gamma have yet to be rerun in this cycle we're in, so I'm hoping I'm hoping they're coming next since we've had two back to back bang bang, because I'm still finishing my KDF recruit. He's not near done yet. And here we have another one, which I'm not complaining, because it at least gives me an opportunity to get my foot in the door to get these rewards that are locked behind the events. But I, I'm just saying it's it, it's interesting. So make sure to please, 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 please. I I know some of you out there don't like the grind, and it kind of sucks. I'm I'm not gonna lie. Some of it can suck, and some people only like to run one or two characters. However. However, these rewards that are locked behind this are very, very good, especially that ending reward of the Temporal Negotiator. Very, very good device. Very good device. It, it costs you essentially nothing to make one of these, and all you have to do is basically play on that character and run through the first basically half of the uh, story missions, just through the end of the Delta Quadrant. So, that's not too bad. Bear in mind the other bigger picture of you get a bunch of different rewards. Again, that super good device, which is amazing. For the people in the tanking spectrum of the world, you would probably like Improved Temporal Insight. When you activate a whole heal you're immune for four seconds. Um, for those who like a cool theme, you have a fully customizable Photonic Engineering Bridge Officer. And... Yeah, l look at this. 10, 45, 145, 345... 745 marks. Account Unlock that I'm seeing right here without even properly counting it all. And they're adding more. Yeah, you're getting more marks. So you're probably going to end up with somewhere around a thousand marks account unlock from this event, plus however many marks account unlock you have from the KDF recruit event. Folks, this is this is stupid because like y you basically have a, rep a couple reputations done for free on every single tune you'll ever make. That's not to be taken for granted. So, like I said, base thoughts. Hopefully, they give out free character slots for this. Um, I love this. I, I love it. Please make a recruit. Please, please, please. I I'm just telling you, uh, this is. I know you don't like the grind. It's worth it in the end. At least finish it off to get your Temporal Negotiator, even if you don't want to do the whole hoopla schmoopla. But anyway, again, more videos coming up as soon as more information is released on this, which hopefully will be later this week. 
And then, if there's not any new information later this week, then we'll, of course, be going over the actual recruitment details when it launches end of next week. And sometime by, let's say, the end of the month, look out for a recruitment tutorial of sorts from me going over the things I did for my KDF recruit and for my Delta recruit so that if you don't like the grind per se, you don't have to just sit and struggle through it. You have a way to think about it and to do it that won't hopefully seem so grindy. That's my goal with that video. But anyway, um, yeah, that's that's all I had. So if you enjoyed hearing about the Delta recruitment um, and my breakdown of it, leave a like down below. Um, if you're excited about some of the stuff I've done recently and some of the stuff I have planned, hit the subscribe button. I, I appreciate any support very much. If you have any thoughts on the matter, leave them in the comments down below. I do try to respond to as many of those as possible. And at the very least, I do read all of them because I... I love hearing what people think about stuff. But, anyways, this is Dr. Lightning94. Have a good day, everybody, and I'll catch you in the next one.